In this video, I'm going to break down one of the best subtle CSS animations I've seen for buttons. Not only am I going to walk you through how to build this, but then I'm going to explain to you exactly how it works. Whether you're a beginner just getting started with CSS animations, or you just want to be able to create great looking HTML and CSS projects, this video is for you. What I also love about this particular project is that it uses one of the latest CSS trends, which is gradients that are inside of text. So we'll be creating all of that in this video. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in and actually create our HTML. So as you can see, we have a button tag and we're going ahead and wrapping our text in a span tag. Going over to our CSS, we're just going to create our button and then we're going to also style our span. So for our button, we're just going to make the font size 30 pixels. The height is going to be 52 pixels. We're going to take away the border, add the 12 pixel border radius, and then add a little bit of padding left and right. We're going to change around our font a little bit, make the font family the plus Jakarta Sans, font weight 600, and then we're going to add a simple gradient to the background of this button. The gradient isn't super obvious, but it does add a nice polished effect to our button. From there, we're going to style our span tag. So that means setting a linear gradient that goes from pink to orange and back to pink as the background for our text. In order to get that great text clipping effect, all we need to do is set the color of the text to transparent. And then we just need to use the background clip text rule in order to make this work. I've also included WebKit background clip. It's a vendor prefix that makes this rule work for my browser. Okay, so we have our HTML and our CSS set up. Now we need to add our animation. Let's cover what we want to happen and then we'll talk about how to actually create this using animated CSS. I almost forgot, in order for us to animate this, we do need to set the background size to 200% versus the normal 100%. In order to create this animation, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to animate the background position, which is going to make it look like the orange is flowing from right to left on our button. So we're going to go from a background position of 0% to a background position of 200%. Since the background size is already 200%, this basically means that it's moving the background from right to left. So I'm gonna create my shine keyframes and I'm gonna say from background position zero to background position 200%. And then down in my CSS, I'm going to set an animation name of the name I just created, shine. We're gonna have this happen over two seconds. We're going to set it to happen infinitely and then we're gonna set the timing function to linear so that it looks like this repeating effect that doesn't speed up and slow down. So there we have it. We can see that now we have this great shine effect that's coming across our text and it repeats in a fashion that makes it look like it's just this infinite loop. Now let's talk about how this actually works. In order to illustrate this concept, I'm going to create another span tag inside of our text span and I'm going to give it a class of BG and then I'm going to give a text class to our original span tag. Back in our CSS, I'm going to replace our span selector with a class of text, and I'm gonna add a new selector for BG. In the text selector, I'm gonna make that position relative, and the BG, I'm gonna make position absolute. This is going to allow us to overlay the text with this BG element. In order to size it exactly as our background is currently sized, I'm going to make the left position zero and the width 200% the height 100% and I'm going to give it the same background image that we're currently using for our text. So currently you have a BG box and it's representing the starting position of our animation. Because we know our animation is moving from right to left, if we start setting the left position to a negative value, this will start to mimic the same exact thing. So we're going to illustrate the original animation with a new animation. I'm going to create a new at keyframes rule give it a name of example. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our new box from a left position of 0% to a left position of negative 200%. So that this does exactly what the original background position animation was doing. From there, we're gonna add this animation to our new absolute position element by setting an animation name of example, an animation duration of two seconds like our original one had, and the same timing and iteration count that the original animation had. So now you can see this is doing exactly what our shine effect is doing, but we can see it a lot more easily. The only thing that you have to kind of wrap your head around here is that background images repeat, which means as the background is moving to the left, 
you have a repeating background coming right behind it that's making everything look super smooth. And that's how that works. If you enjoy this video and you gain some knowledge from it, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe if you want more content like today's video. I'll see you in the next video.